Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church. This is Pastor Wiggins and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What a wonderful day it is to be alive. What a wonderful day it is to be in the Lord's care. And I pray that as we get ready to pray today, that you'll join me each and every day as we're praying um, about windows of opportunity and doors of destiny for 31 days. And today we're going to be praying again from Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 18 and 19 from the message translation. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 18 and 19 from the message translation says, again, God's message. I'll turn things around for Jacob. I'll compassionately come in and rebuild homes. The town will be rebuilt on its old foundations. The mansions will be splendid again. Thanksgiving will pour out of the windows. Laughter will spill through the doors. Things will get better and better. Amen. Amen. What a wonderful word from God today. And we want to pray that word right back to him. And we're going to pray two things today. We're going to pray that God will reside in our homes, that God will feel comfortable, that God will be present in our homes. And we're going to pray that not only will God reside in our homes, but we want to pray today that God will literally help to rebuild our homes, to build it on a solid foundation upon the word of God and the love of Jesus Christ. Come on, let's pray. Lord, we love you and we honor you today. We magnify you, glorify you. We praise you and we bless your holy name. Jesus, we thank you for inviting us and commanding us to pray. What a privilege it is, O oh God, to pray to you, to come before your throne of grace, to find grace and help in our times of need. Lord, we thank you for the scripture today in Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 18 where you remind us that you are the God of a turnaround, that you remind us that you will turn our situations around. And we thank you for that. And we ask, Lord God, that you would compassionately come in and rebuild our homes. Lord, we pray today that you would be comfortable, that you would be welcome, that your presence would show up in the confines of our homes. Lord, we thank you for being able to go to your house of prayer and your house of worship and your house of praise to receive your word and fellowship with the saints. But Lord God, we want you also to be present in our homes. We want you, God, to reside in our homes. And Lord, you are our king and you are our Lord. You are the Lord of lords and the king of kings. You are in control and you are in charge. You are on the throne and you reign forever and ever. And so, Lord, as you reign and rule in heaven, we give you permission, O God, to reign and rule in our homes. Lord, lead us and guide us in our homes. Lord, let your love be present in our homes. Let your mercy and your forgiveness and your kindness and your gentleness and your long-suffering and your patience be present in our homes. Lord, we pray that the fruit of the Spirit would be in our homes. Lord, we pray that in each and every room, in each and every place, in each and every uh, space in our homes, Lord God, you would permeate and be present in those situations. Lord, we pray for the family members that live up under our roof, that they would experience your presence night and day, that they would experience your presence as they come in and as they go out. Lord God, we pray that the word of God would be present in our homes, that the word of God would be welcomed in our homes. Lord, we pray that the prayer to you would be in our homes, that we pray that even praise and worship to you would be evident under the under the sound of our roof, under the roof of our homes, O oh God. And we pray, Lord God, that as you are there, you would set things in order as you would have them to be. And Lord, as you reside in our homes, we give you permission, Lord, to reign and rule and to rebuild what is torn down in our homes. Lord, rebuild our faith in you. Lord, rebuild our prayer life to you. Lord, rebuild our Bible study to you. Lord, rebuild relationships with you in our homes. Lord, build our homes up on a solid foundation. Lord, let Christ be the centerpiece of everything that happens in our homes. Lord, rebuild our homes so that the enemy can't come in and try to destroy what you have built up. 
Lord, we believe that your people want to experience you in every facet of their life, but let it start in our homes. And so, Lord God, we believe victory in the lives of your people today. We ask you again to compassionately come in and rebuild our home and our home life. We pray for husbands and wives. We pray for sons and daughters. We pray for single people. We pray for brothers and sisters, Lord, that we would experience you like we've never experienced you before. Lord, open up windows of opportunities for us to get to know you. Open up doors of destiny for us to grow in you, that, Lord God, you might be pleased with our lives and that we might give you the glory and the honor you so richly deserve. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank God. Amen. What a privilege it is to pray to God. I pray you'll experience God's presence in your home today. And I pray that God would rebuild your home so that it is everything that he wants it to be. Again, our scripture came from Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 18 and 19 from the message translation. It says, again, God's message, I'll turn things around for Jacob. I'll compassionately come in and rebuild homes. The town will be rebuilt on its old foundations. The mansions will be splendid again. Thanksgivings will pour out of the windows. Laughter will spill through the doors. Things will get better and better. Amen. Listen, we'll be back tomorrow. Subscribe to the channel. Share the channel with somebody. Until then, we love you in the Lord. God bless.